Hello students, let us continue with chapter 6 lines and angles. We will be taking a look at the solved examples on page 106 and 107. So for the first one is wherein you need to find the values of x and y given this figure. So let's read out what is given to us. We have QT perpendicular to PR. So this is QT which is perpendicular to PR. Therefore this angle here is 90 degrees, right? Let us mark it although it's been given as a box, correct? Also, angle TQR is 40 degrees, which is marked again, TQR is 40 degrees and angle SPR is 30 degrees, which is this angle here, 30 degrees. We need to find the values of X and Y. So, take into consideration now, we will first find the value of angle X. If I take this triangle out here, what do I get? this angle Q plus angle T plus angle R is equal to 180 degrees. Why? Because the, the sum of angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. We learnt a theorem 6.7 in the previous class. Therefore, what will we get? 40 plus 90 plus X is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, we can easily find the value of X. So, let's solve. I will say solution in triangle TQR, angle Q plus angle T plus angle R is equal to 180 degrees and in brackets I am going to write angle sum property ASP of triangle, correct? Let us substitute the values of Q and T and as well as R. So, Q, Q is 40 degrees. T is 90 degrees plus X is equal to 180 degrees, correct? So, this is 40 plus 90 is 130, 130 degrees plus X is equal to 180 degrees, correct? Therefore, I will bring 130 on my right hand side, it will become negative. Therefore, X is equal to 180 degrees minus 130 degrees, which is equal to 50 degrees. Correct. Also, now we will go ahead and find the value of your angle Y over here. This is your angle that you need to find. So, first of all, if you take into consideration now angle PSR, okay. So, I have taken into consideration angle PSR and I have extended the ray, uh, the line RS to point Q. Won't angle Y be the exterior angle for triangle PSR? So, what have we learnt about exterior angles? The exterior angles is equal to the sum of opposite interior angles. We have found the value of X. Let us write this down over here. So, this is equal to 50 degrees. So, Y is going to be equal to 30 degrees plus 50 degrees, which is going to be 80 degrees, isn't it? Let us solve this now. So, I will say in triangle PSR angle PSQ is the exterior angle correct therefore angle PSQ is equal to angle SPR plus angle PRS, exterior angle property. Or you can just say through exterior angle theorem. Correct? Let us substitute the values over here. So, PSQ is Y is equal to SPR is 30 degrees and plus PRS is equal to X which is 50 degrees. So, I am going to say from 1. From 1 what do we have? That angle PRS is equal to X which is equal to 50 degrees. Correct? Therefore, what do I get Y as? Y is equal to 30 degrees plus 50 degrees is 80 degrees.
correct so this was about the solved example 1 let's proceed with solved example 2 okay so lots of data and a diagram let's go one by one we have sides ab and ac of triangle abc produced to points e and d respectively so i have my triangle abc and the sides a, the side ab is extended until point e and the side ac is extended until point d bo bisects cbe so you have bo bisecting angle cbe which means these two angles are equal correct similarly we have ray co bisecting angle bcd therefore these two angles are equal correct we need to prove that angle boc which is this angle here is 90 minus half of angle bac so what do we need to prove that this angle is equal to 90 degrees minus half of this angle so these are the two triangles that we are going to take into consideration correct let's see so i'll say solution uh, or rather proof because we need to prove so from we we'll start with the angle bisectors bo bisects angle cbe therefore what do we have angle cbo is equal to half of angle cbe correct therefore cbo is equal to half angle cbe correct but what is angle cbe now cbe is 180 degrees 180 degrees minus y isn't it because see i have line ae and b is the ray lying on it or we can say bc is a ray lying on it therefore angle y plus angle cbe is equal to 180 degrees therefore cbe is what 180 degrees minus y so i'll say but angle cbe is equal to 180 degrees minus y correct therefore angle your angle cbo is equal to half of 180 degrees minus y so let's calculate this this would be 180 upon 2 minus y upon 2 which is 90 degrees minus y upon 2 correct this is angle cbo i'll mark this as 1 similarly let's check for co as the bisector we considered bo bisects cbe now let's check for co bisects bcd right so i'll say co bisects angle bcd therefore angle bco is equal to half of angle bcd similarly now what is the measure of angle bcd bcd is 180 degrees minus z why because you have the line straight line acd and cb is a ray on it therefore angle z plus angle bcd is equal to 180 degrees therefore angle bcd is equal to 180 degrees minus z but angle bcd is equal to 180 degrees minus z correct therefore what do we have therefore angle bco is equal to half into 180 degrees minus z which is equal to 180 degrees upon 2 i'm opening the brackets minus z upon 2 therefore i'll open my brackets and what do i get 180 de de degree divided by 2 is 90 so 90 degree minus z upon 2 i'm just putting a dash for z over here so that it differentiates from 2 so 90 degree minus z upon 2 
I will mark this as equation 2. Correct? Now, I am going to take into consideration my angle BOC. So, in triangle BOC, what do I have? I have angle BCO plus angle COB plus angle CBO is equal to 180 degrees through the angle sum property. Correct? So, I am going to say in triangle BCO, I have angle BCD, sorry BCO plus angle COB or BOC plus angle CBO is equal to 180 degrees through angle sum property of triangle. I will mark this statement as 3. This was angle BCO. So, just wait a moment. BCO. So, we have CBO here as well as here, and we have BCO here and here. Right? Let me mark them with different colored chalks. CBO, CBO and BCO and BCO. Correct? Therefore, from 1, 2 and 3, what do we get? We get 90 minus Y upon, sorry, 90 minus Z upon 2 plus angle BOC plus 90 minus Y upon 2 is equal to 180 degrees. Correct? Therefore, 90 minus y upon 2, sorry, z upon 2 plus angle BOC plus 90 minus y upon 2 is equal to 180 degrees, correct? And I will say from 1, 2 and 3. Correct. I will erase this section of the board. I have. I hope you have taken down notes of it because we need to continue. Correct. We are continuing from here to here. So, let us calculate this section. 90 plus 90 is going to give me 180 degrees. Then I have minus z upon 2 uh, and minus y upon 2. So, I can write this as minus of z upon 2 plus y upon 2 and plus angle BOC is equal to 180 degrees. So, what have we done over here is I have taken the negative sign outside and I have clubbed the variables together that is minus y upon 2 and minus z upon 2 together. So, if I open my brackets, I am going to get exactly the same thing that is minus z upon 2 and minus y upon 2, correct? So, now we have equals on the left hand side and the right hand side. So, if I subtract equals from equals, my remainders are going to be equal, correct? Therefore, what do I get? Minus z upon 2 plus y upon 2 plus angle BOC is equal to 0 because I subtracted 180 from here and 180 from here. 180 is gone here, so this is my remainder and 180 is gone from here, so 0 is my remainder over here. So, I am going to take this negative term on my right hand side, therefore it will become positive. Therefore, I get angle BOC is equal to z upon 2 plus y upon 2. Correct? I will remove the 1 upon 2 common. So, I get angle BOC is equal to 1 upon 2 y plus z. Correct? I will mark this as equation 4. Now, we will take the upper triangle into consideration which is angle ABC. Correct. So, in angle ABC, what do we have? Angle X plus Y plus angle Z is equal to 180 degrees through the angle sum property. Therefore, now in triangle ABC, 
एंगल एक्स प्लस एंगल वाई प्लस एंगल जेड और आई जस्ट से एक्स प्लस वाई प्लस जेड इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड एंड एटी डिग्रीज थ्रू द एंगल सम प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ ट्राइंगल्स करेक्ट Now see, I have y plus z over here, so we'll rewrite this equation in terms of y plus z. Therefore, I get y plus z is equal to 180 degrees minus x. Correct? I'll mark this as equation five. So now, if I substitute the value 180 minus x for y plus z in my equation four, let's see what happens. So I'll say, therefore, angle BOC. Is equal to half 180 degrees 180 degrees minus x. I'll say from four and five. Let's open up the bracket on my right hand side. I get 180 upon two minus x upon two. Correct. So 180 divided by two is 90 degrees minus x upon two. So what is my x? X is my angle BAC. So instead of X, I'm going to say angle BAC upon two. Let's rewrite this. I get 90 degrees minus half angle BAC. It is equal to angle BOC. This is what was required. Therefore, I'll say hence proved. Correct. So please take a look, take down notes of this question, as well as solution. These were the solved examples. Now after this, we'll take a uh, take a look at exercise six point three, which is the last exercise of your chapter. Thank you. Hope this video increased your knowledge. For more such videos and a completely free educational content, log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our Epathshala YouTube channel. We have each and every question solved for maths, physics, chemistry, and biology. So subscribe our channel, share with your friends, like our Facebook page, and follow our Twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips, and also win Epathshala goodies. So what are you waiting for subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education